What up everyone, it's the Evil Collector, back at you with another action figure review. Today's review is with the NECA Turtles 2-pack, Bebop and Rocksteady reissued. And I was able to pick this up on my local Target, so keep an eye on your Target. Let's go ahead and check the top of the box. You get the Turtle logo right there, looking always cool. On the side you get an image of Bebop right here. An image of Rocksteady there. Image of both of them in the back. Their bio, you want to read about it, I'm going to pause it right there. And then the rest of the figures in that set at the time, which were the Style Guide Colored Turtles and the two-pack foot soldiers. Here, the UPC, if y'all looking for it, this two-pack, pause it right there. And uh, all the makers and the takers. Ah. And uh, that's pretty much it, y'all. So let's go ahead and get this two-pack Bebop Rocksteady reissue figures out and let's see what these bottles are all about. So here we have Bebop and Rocksteady <clears throat> out the box and uh, really looking cool, man. I'm so happy I picked this set up. The colors just really pop for me and I'm just happy to have them. But um, let's go ahead and um, check out the accessories they come with. So they both come with the same kind of sh um, gun. Let me put this light on for y'all. I want to say we've seen them before in the other Bebop Rocksteady set. But yeah, so they come with these two guns, like little Nerf guns. And then they come with a set of just uh, taser guns to tase people. First they tase them and then they shoot them. They warn them once. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool little cuetes. NECA. Doing the hell of a job on the uh, detailing on these things. And then they come with a little, uh, communi a little communicator. It has El Shredito in there. I don't know if you can see it. So that's pretty cool. And I want to say it's the picture of the shredder, the action figure. Um, and then Bebop comes with three sets of hands. So he comes with the fist hands he's wearing. And then he comes with these grabby hands or the choking hands. Like he's going to choke you. And he comes with these other hands. I guess a pistol, pistol wheeling hands, I guess you could say. Rocksteady comes with his own set of uh, fisted hands he's already coming with and has on. Then he comes with these grabby hands. Pretty cool. And then he comes with his pistol wheeling hands <laughs> once again. Pretty cool. So yeah, man. So that's pretty much what these bottles come with. And um, let's go on and check out the articulation. Okay. Bebop wants to go first. Well, his he doesn't really look up at all. <laughs> doesn't look down at all either. Head moves maybe about a 90 degrees on both sides. I mean, I don't know what the hell that is, but you know what I mean. Up to the shoulders. <laughs> His arm movement's good. I can't really do the whole um, shoulder movement because of the it's um, down on this right here. It's glued on here. I want to break that. But he does have upper bicep swivel, which is tight, but it's there. Is it there? Double jointed elbows. And then wrist swivel with a hinge. Then his uh, torso movement, very limited, but it moves very little. Doesn't have a waist movement at all. And he does the splits a lot better. So this is what all the other uh, content creators were talking about. They do have ball joints. That's awesome. Very limited thigh movement. Double jointed knees. Does move really good. So he can kick up forward that much. He can kick back that much. And then um, a small ankle pivot and then a hinge, just very light hinge on it. Oh, not, 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 not an ankle move, well, very light moving, but it does move around left and right very good. And then up and down, does have that little hinge in there to help him stand. And there's our bebop. G boss. <laughs> I want to say my old one too. It does have it the same way. We'll check them out in a minute. So that's the Bebop. Let's check out Mr. Rocksteady. Excuse me. Oh, our Bebop's not having it today. So Rocksteady has 
jaw movement good head looks up and down very 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 limited but turns very little shoulder movement very good upper bicep swivel double jointed elbows for that elbow smash the wrist swivel with the hinge torso movement no no torso movement at all just like the old one just very limited um, waist movement does it split about that much does have the ball peg joints right there thank you very much NECA Randy Fogg and all y'all Trevor Zemmett <laughs> y'all y'all killed with this man y'all really went back and did a very good job on these I'm I'm excited about these y'all did a very bravo guys I love these I ain't gonna lie man definitely gonna get rid of my own ones but we'll definitely check those out in a minute um very limited thigh movement and double jointed knees kicks up about that much kicks back that much And then uh, upper thigh boot, I mean uh, upper boot cut. And then uh, ankle rocker, and then the hinge to move the ankles around. And there's your rock steady. Mine kind of looks cropped, messed up cropped eyes. I don't know if it's me, but that one looks bigger, and this one looks like it's kind of more the eyelids more down than this one. Kind of told me all that he's a little. It was all a dream. I used to read Bird Up Magazine. <laughs> That's that biggie effect. So um, these are the new Bebop and Rocksteady 2024 edition. Maybe, maybe late 2023 they're made and they just released them. But uh, I'm happy we got these. So let's compare them to the other ones. Here are the older ones I have. I forgot what year they came out, but man. Major different on, on Bebop. You could see it already. Brighter um, jacket, the shells are more is more outlined, more detailed. The mohawk still looks a little better on this one, maybe, but maybe I'm tripping. This one's good, but the pants are the same looks. The thigh things, this one's lighter. I mean, this is darker. This one's lighter. <laughs> the chains are more lighter on the new one. Shoes are a little more brighter, also. I think both of their eyes are the same. Right? Yeah, I got one that has a line and a dot. My luck, right? So, yeah. Look at that right there. Oh, and then I, I guess like the shadowing. This has the shadowing right here. This one doesn't have the shadowing. See it, and on, on his neck right here, you don't see the shadow right here, and this one you don't see it no more. Crazy, all the extra lines they added on this one. This one just has it more simple. Oh man, I'm, I'm impressed with the new one. I really like it. He has a, pink, a pinker tongue on this one. The new one has a darker tongue. But yeah, so those are the Bebops. Epa. New one just don't want to stand, man. He's like, I don't like this lineup. All right. It worked. All right, let's check out the Rock Stadies. Obviously, the eyes on the new one. <laughs> I'm going to put the new one on this side. This is the old one. You could tell it the new and the old one because of the shadow. The shading, I mean. But um, this one has a, the eyes just right. This one looks a little bit... Uh, you know, already said. But you can see the shadow right there in the arms. You don't have it on the new one. The old one has the shadow in. All right here. I don't have it there. So you can see it all on the head too. The shirts, a little more darker on the new on the old one. The more a little brighter on the new one. The shell is a little more, a little more defined here. This one just has a real basic detail. The pants are a little more darker. These are more faded, and the boots are brighter, just a tad bit brighter. Okay. I don't know if I could switch the heads, but then you'll see that little part. But who cares, right? It'll be in my collection. Well, yeah, man. So. 
I'm gonna probably be selling these guys, or I might just put them away. I don't know. We'll see what happens when we do these. But yeah, let's do some size comparisons with other figures. Let's go ahead and bring out Mikey because I just want to show you the size of him. Throw a crane in here and the shredder. Put the shredder in between. So there you go with the comparisons. That looks actually really cool. I'm just throwing here leather head, leather face, leather head. Maybe a new updated one of this one. I think this one has the same kind of legs, right? Yeah, it does. We could use another a remake, a reissue of this dude with Slash. I'm sure this is probably one of the more sought after two packs of the whole set. I mean, one of the of one of these sets, because man, these figures are all awesome, man. I'm I'm not collecting any of the Mirage or any of the movie ones. I just only the cartoon ones. But I pretty much pretty much got every character that I that I love watching the show. Maybe just Lord Dreg, but um, or the Tempress or whoever. I mean, maybe just those figures. But other than that, that's pretty much it for my turtle collection. Uh, I wanted to show some other figures from other lines on here too, just to see how they compare. To these bottles. Shredder! I'll put it here in Radix and Napa from the SH Figure Arts. So they're they're pretty good size. They kind of match up with them. I mean, they look a little more bigger, but I mean, who cares, right? That like you could in the anime, you could reimagine that if you were doing your own stop motion, you could do whatever you want in your universe. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Other ones I wanted to put in there. Marvel Legends Iron Man and Jada Toys Street Fighter Ryu. Pretty dope figures. Good size comparison. Yeah. <laughs> All right, one more I was gonna do was uh, He Man's Two Face. I mean, too bad, my bad, my bad, too bad. That's a big dude, man. The Iron Man is just dope. I love that one. To me, that's the Marvel vs. Capcom version of Iron Man. So that's dope. But anyways, man, um, comment below. Let me know what y'all think of these two packs re-release of Bebop and Rocksteady. Are you gonna pick them up? Are you you're happy with the ones you have? Or you don't care for them? No, I'd really like to know what y'all think about these. I'm definitely happy I did pick these up. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do my other set, my old ones. I might just keep them or I might just use them for trade or whatever, man. But uh, smash that like button. Greatly appreciate it. Um, hit the notification bell for more evil content coming out. Take care of my evil peeps and evil out. Like and subscribe to the Evil Collector channel and hit the notification bell for more content.